Hi Cozy Friends! I'm here with another Cozy Favorites video. They are one of my favorite videos to make, so let's just get right into it. First category is body care. I had never seen or heard about this product. It is the Dove Antibacterial Body Wash. There's so many good Dove body washes. There's like moisturizing, there's fun scents, whatnot. Antibacterial is the key here. Listen to me. I am not one of those people where I can go more than one day without showering. You know, by the end of the day, the scents are scenting. But because of that, I'm always searching for things that make me feel clean and fresh and I'm not like smelling myself by the end of the day. But having an anti bacterial body wash specifically is killing the bacteria that smells like the bacteria is what smells on your body and and I was like okay we'll see right like we'll see we'll see no I tested this out literally the whole day like I smell myself I'll catch whiffs throughout the day and I'm like oh. I'm like who smells good oh it's me it's me I smell good and I wish more companies came out with antibacterial body wash so if anybody has any other suggestions of antibacterial body wash let me know and the next one's hilarious because this would have been included in some favorites video of mine but they want to sponsor another video of mine which I'm really excited about and I really appreciate and that is Dime Beauty. So I talked about Dime Beauty on another video. I talked about how I tried two of their perfumes. They're super natural. They're clean ingredients, non-toxic. With normal perfume formulations I tend to get really sneezy and with these I don't because it's really clean ingredients. So the first two are ones I talked about in a prior video and they're the first two that I tried. I love them. It's Seven Summers and it's Lovely Sweet Dreams. Oh my god. This is like sweet and summery, and this one is vanilla y marshmallow, but clean and fresh. In the last video, I said this reminds me of like Cloud or Baccarat. And then recently, I got to try Malibu Night and ILYSB, which stands for I Love Your Small Baby. I Love Your Small Baby's giving like shopping on Rodeo, <laughs> lunch out on a sunny day with your friends, maybe a brunch. Again, very, very just clean and fresh. Malibu Night is a very intimate scent to me. This is like a bed time scent or a scent you would wear you know for like a little a little intimate date night 90% of the time I've left the house I've just been using dime beauty fragrances and I love them and just a plus they come in sustainable glass packaging I love that so I had to include them in a favorites video perfect timing because we have this lovely sponsorship so thank you dime beauty I will have I'll have a link for 20% off the discount code is also just cozy k20 if you want to use that you can use the link you can use cozy k20 or you can use this QR code thank you very much Dime Beauty. Next category is food and drinks. Just some random kind of cozy things I've been loving. I get chai lattes a lot, but I started getting a chai latte with two added espresso shots, but decaf. I really like a little bit of a coffee taste. Like it's just very cozy. So you're still tasting the chai, but you're getting a little bit of coffee and it just, oh, it's so good. And I feel like y'all are more creative. You could come up with like syrups and toppings and whatever to add to it but I just kind of go simple and it's been so so good. Next is a Costco thing. If you don't have a Costco membership I'm so sorry but I love Costco. Okay their udon noodle packets they're microwavable. This is this is the key here because I love a good ramen where you boil the water you put the noodles in the hard noodles in that's all fun and dandy. It can be a process and sometimes I'm a lazy girl and I just want to curl up in bed and I want to make my meal in like two seconds and I don't want to think about it. These take four minutes in the microwave. There's so much flavor to them. The texture of the udon noodles is perfect. It's going to be a staple in my household like forever probably. The last food item is chocolate covered strawberries. I feel like at some point we all grew up and forgot about fun little foods. We forgot about fun little treats and spending time making fun little treats. Chocolate covered strawberries are one of those things where I realized why don't we just have chocolate covered strawberries like at the store to procure. I would like to go to the store, walk up to an establishment and say, two chocolate covered strawberries please. Where can that happen? Nowhere. All you do, you get the little, they have them in the fruit section, the little chocolate like wafers that you microwave. Get your little strawberry, zip it, bring the little plate up, put it next to your bed while you're laying in bed, relaxing, doing whatever you're doing. Look over, they're dried. You got a little treat. You just treated yourself. You just trout yourself with chocolate covered strawberries. Delicious. I did this like last weekend. Best decision. I, I was stressed. I was like filming content and doing stuff and I had deadlines and I had a little chocolate covered strawberry to make me feel better. So I guess this is me just simply reminding you that chocolate covered strawberries exist and that it's a treat we can make, okay? It's, it's, it's a recent favorite of mine. The next category is stationery. <sighs> y'all, y'all know I love stickers and I'm gonna talk about stickers probably I don't know probably every video I love st I love stickers I just I at this point I consider myself a collector of stickers okay I used to 
troll through the aisles of Daiso stationery. And the stickers were like, okay. And I think good stickers in stores are hard to come by. I don't know why that is. I feel like they're very hard to come by. Like why doesn't Target have just a little section of the stationery with really, really cute stickers? I don't understand. Step it up, Target. But Daiso, I went into Daiso recently. It had been a while, it had been a couple of years. And boy, do they have stickers. They stepped up their game. They have the cutest food stickers. I am a huge sucker for food stickers. They have the cutest. Look at these. Come on. They're so cute. Look at that. I feel like they just needed like a little bit of time to catch up to the, the sticker trends and then they got there. They got there and they delivered. Last sticker mention, I already mentioned this shop last time, but I, I love them very much. It's Kitschy Kawaii stickers. I already mentioned them, I know. They just opened back up their monthly mailer. So it's basically like a Patreon, but just through their website and you can sign up for monthly little sets and they have one starting at $5. I did the $15 one because listen, I'm a sticker connoisseur, okay? I will pay $15 a month for some stickers, but with the $15 a month when you get like so like a ridiculous amount of stickers. It's a lot of stickers. Something I've been really excited about lately. On my last vlog, I did a little overview of my planner and I used all Kitschy Kwai stickers from the last month's delivery and I was so excited about it. <laughs> it's just so cute. Okay, book tabs. I got these from Daiso, but I also got some from Amazon to put in books while you're reading to like annotate to like mark a spot that you really liked like the the annotating book girlies on like instagram and tiktok they go hard okay if you look up like book annotation the girlies are going off i really like the idea of putting a little tab on like a favorite spot so <laughs> book tabs are really cool for that or magazines is where i use them i think the most so i've talked about like my recent magazine love i love magazines it's like partly nostalgic and partly just so calming to just flip through a magazine and like read the articles and look at the recipes if I just flip through and then like doggy ear recipe and then like put the magazine in the magazine rack I'm not gonna like pull it back out but these help so that I can look at like my stack of magazines in the magazine rack and be like oh yeah I have all of these recipes I can try if I'm feeling feisty feeling fun feeling like trying a new recipe okay next is these click art pens which I saw at Target for the first time recently these are really fun they're not like super different but it's they're retractable which makes it kind of fun it's clicky there's a lot of really good colors which is what drew me in there's a lot of like kind of more neutral tones more muted colors i like to use these in my coloring books for like fine detailed areas and then i also like to use these for bullet journals for like headings and stuff also mild liner the highlighters that i use all the time these ones the ones that look like this well, they have a new collection and i have had my eye on it for a while but just a little alert to my stationary people that they have new colors okay the next category is decor and home first is this new desk lamp that i got I love it. I used to have just a little desk lamp from Target, but it was not color changing. This one is color changing. You can change it to like every RGB color. You can change it to all different scales of like whites. So like warm whites to bright blue or lights and you can change the brightness which is really really nice like i have it on orange right now and it's so pretty and i love the shape and the little legs are very cute and they have two shapes they have this like longer shape and then they have a little mushroom which is very cute so that's on amazon a lot of the stuff i'll mention will be on the throne storefront so that will be on this qr code doo, doo, doo. and moving on to the next one are my new acrylic shelves i had this blank space right above my little stationary cart and right next to the new art that I put up and I just happened to see these acrylic shelves browsing on Amazon and I was like these are perfect they're brown they have like a more orangey version but they have a brown one which just obviously matches with my whole vibe my whole room you could do something practical with them like put keyboards on them or something general storage things but I just have decor and I just think it looks so cute and it kind of finishes off my space so little shelves little shelves are gonna do it every time for me but these are just they're kind of unique you know next is the entire Aurora line of Logitech G stuff. I had it all sent to me and in no way do I have any like requirement to talk about this. I just genuinely loved all of the stuff. There's a whole line, but I'm only gonna talk about the mouse and the keyboard. The mouse has programmable buttons. So it has two buttons on the side right here. Two buttons on the side and a button here and the scrolly one is also a button there are certain things that i do all the time i have to take screenshots a lot for some reason it drives me insane to do it i take screenshots of things of like pictures and products to put in my videos and having a button that i could just press to, to open the screenshot page and take a screenshot it saves me just frustration it saves me peace of mind does it save me any more than maybe like two seconds no no it doesn't no but 
Does it bring me to a state of peace and joy that I'm saving those two seconds? Absolutely it does. Absolutely it does. These two I use for my editing softwares. I'm gonna have early onset arthritis if I didn't get this mouse because I, I have to like, the commands are like this, like so far apart on the keyboard that I'm doing this constantly. Boop, boop. It's two buttons now. That is life-changing. That's life-changing. If you do any kind of like coding, things like that, I don't know. I think that might help. But the coolest thing about both of these, they have these like really easily customizable colors. So right now it's like idle. So it's doing this and I could change it to doing a different color when it's idle, but I haven't done that yet. I have it set to like this beautiful kind of warm orangey brownish orange and it just matches perfectly with my setup. It's exactly the color I want it to be. Same with the keyboard. It's just this beautiful orangey brown situation. It's so Oh, cool. I just love it. I'm in love. And then it comes with this cute little like cloud wrist rest and I've never had a wrist rest and I'm really enjoying it. It's very, very nice. So that's the Aurora line. It's very popular and it's popular for a reason. So if you've been singing around and you're like, I don't know, like it, it's popular for a reason because it's good and it has solid features. Okay. Next, if you watch my vlogs, you've already seen this. It's a bed caddy. Oh my gosh. This thing, life-changing. See these? Tablets, books. See these? Cups fits a Stanley cup, just like that. These like teardrop shaped ones, I like to put my remotes in so I don't lose them in my bed all the time. If you are a bed person, I love doing all my activities and crafts in my bed, that is perfect. And if you are a craft person, imagine all of the little craft things you could put in there and not lose them. It's just, it's, it's amazing, it's life changing, it's pretty self explanatory. I feel like I don't have to sell you on that any anymore. And the last thing in this category is mushroom night lights. They are on Amazon, very easily findable. You get them in like a pack of four and they are just, they bring me so much joy. It's, it's just really the simple things in life. When I open my bathroom door and I see this little mushroom nightlight on and glowing, it's it like starts to glow in the dark because it's a nightlight, obviously. It just has such a nice like warm tone to it. The yellow base kind of looks intense. You might be like, I don't know, it's kind of a bright yellow. But when it's at night, it just, it looks so beautiful. Every time I open my door and close my door, I kind of look back and I go, oh, it just makes your bathroom so cozy. I don't know why I assumed all of you would put it in your bathroom like I did, but it's just so cute, I love it. Okay, next is clothes. I have two gaming themed clothing stuff. If that's not your thing, just hold on a sec. The first is a added collaboration that I have with Threads and Thistles inventory. So we have a like cozy gamer collaboration already. There's a bunch of really cute, if I do say so myself, a very cute designs. And that's just an evergreen collection. Like that's gonna be around forever. But we recently were like, we should add some things to it. Like we just had some ideas bouncing around and we're like, let's add some things to it. And here is a preview of one of those designs. I am so obsessed with it. It's kind of inspired by the recent like cozy hobby journey I've been on. I feel like everyone's just kind of like picking up more hobbies and getting into cozy things and reading and textile crafts and it's just kind of an homage to the cozy hobby lifestyle, the cozy person lifestyle. I am really excited for it. So that's just one of the designs, just one of them. That is a favorite of mine because I had a part in it, okay? Yeah, I'm putting it in here because it's my child, okay? It's a nepotism baby and it's a worthy one. Next is Cheerwear and they have a lot of stuff that is not gaming related. Just really cute like mushroom, strawberry cups and things like that. But they recently came out with like a Breath of the Wild themed collection. I mean, it's so cute. My personal favorite is their sweatshirt. The color of it is perfect. The detail on the little Korok on the chest piece is so nice. And the best part of all, on the sleeve, there's a little, Yaha, you found me embroidered. I did not even know it was there. And then I was like, Yaha, you found me, what? It's also just a really good sweatshirt too. When they're too thick and stiff, I don't like that. This one is really soft, so I appreciate that. Okay, my last one in clothing is this Target onesie waffle romper or something on the website. It'll be in my storefront, but perfect, it's perfect. Perfect. This is all I want out of loungewear. Like just please just target, churn these out in different colors. I don't have to wear a bra with it. It's like thick enough. It's just comfortable. There's no weird seams or anything. This is definitely like an at home romper for me, but I'm gonna be living in this thing. Okay, and the last category is games and books. I unfortunately have not read any books since the fourth book of the Akatar series. That was the last book I read. I'm starting on Legends and Lattes this month. I kind of had to take a break after the fourth book I, forget, I don't even remember what it was called because I was just very disappointed in it. But if anyone has any other recommendations to like get me excited about reading after being disillusioned, then let me know. But I do have one game. I have one game that I have been 
Oh my God, obsessed with, obsessed with. It is on like every platform. It's on PC, it's on Mac, it's on PlayStation, it's on Xbox, it's on Switch. It's literally on everything. It's called Bug Snacks, okay? Not only is the writing hilarious and good and thorough and nuanced and interesting. I don't know about nuanced, but it's it's interesting and it's gripping and the story is so good. Character is hilarious. So not only is all of that good, there's like a dark mystery to it. It's a very like cozy, bright, fun game. Like there's throughout like 90% of it, it's just like fun, bright game with like a mystery you're uncovering. But there is like a deep, mystery to uncover. Uncover it you do. Cannot recommend it enough. It's one of those games where I thought I would just like sit down for a little bit, just like test it out. I played it for hours. I played it for hours and every time I'm like, I gotta sit down and play it a little bit. No, I play it for hours. It's so good. The pacing of the tasks is perfect. You just get like addicted to the world and the little bug snacks, which are like a little hybrid bug and food, which I, you know, I love little cute food things. And they all make this like unique noise based on their name. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> and they each require like a different method of catching them. So you're trying to like catch all of them, catch them for different reasons and quests and like villager requests and things like that. It's engaging because you're thinking through things. It's engaging because the story's good. It's engaging because you care about the characters. And then it's just cute and bright and like fun to explore. Yeah, that's Bug Snacks. Please try it. Try it for 10, 15 minutes. See what, see if you like it. You're gonna be playing it for like hours. I promise you. Those are all my cozy favorites for the month. I appreciate you coming along with me, listening to me yap about all my favorites. I'll again have the Dime Beauty link in my description and the code is CozyK20 if you want 20% off. Thank you again, Dime Beauty. And until the next favorites video, I will be around doing cozy hobby vlogs, doing Stardew playthroughs, streaming on Twitch. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm, on, I'm everywhere. Spreading the cozy hobby, cozy lifestyle agenda to the world. <laughs> I will see you next time. I love you, stay cozy. Bye.